the center of town, a steeple rises as the cornerstone of the city and its extended history. Born of the timbers of the Riverside Forest in its humble beginnings centuries ago, the St. Genevieve Church rose to be crafted by its people. Born of the earth and clay, its song pulses the story of its sorrow and happiness through the churning rivers as the first church in Missouri. In 1759, the French erected a vertical log church in the old location of St. Genevieve. It was very similar to that of the Holy Family Church in Cahokia. It was the first church west of the Mississippi River. Unfortunately, due to tragic floods, the city was moved two miles north where it was remade with stone as St. Genevieve's Stone Church. Then it was modified once again and became a marvel. Just the uh, the presence of the church in the community. There is a very, very, very active St. Vincent de Paul Society, and as best as they can, they meet the needs of the poor for um, a lot of social activities in town. A lot of people, because they are associated with the church and do church activities, it also becomes their social. The church provides the anchor for that. Al Kaiser played a beautiful song on the church organ and Bob Mueller gave us a tour that provided us with information about the church itself. The church is reminiscent of a time when everything was meticulously created. At 193 feet, the steeple can be seen anywhere from miles around. Paintings that hang along the walls are from hundreds of years ago during the French rule of St. Genevieve. The King of France had his artisans paint the St. Genevieve Church to hang in his palace and to give as a gift to the St. Genevieve City. A little bit about the church, these, these windows, in the, these were, uh, are from the time period of 1876-1880. And if you look at the bottom of each one of them, it was somebody in the memory of right. someone. And you'll see very famous names as you go down through. You'll see French names like Jean-Baptiste Vallée, uh, Jean Bouveret, who was a, a Belgian actually. But you'll see German names too, because at the time this church was being built, we were becoming more German than French. This is the altar of St. Genevieve, our patron saint. Uh, those little things that are on the altar are called relics, and those are something that belonged to one of our saints, one of our very holy people. And up in the window we had St. Genevieve on the left and Christopher Columbus on the right. Its Gothic structure is something that sets it apart from most all churches in America. The St. Genevieve Church is the base of the city's history and of the people's social life and the foundation of the morals that define the lifestyle of the town.